Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Braggable. You're watching the Two Smart Guys Show. Yay. Yay. We do weekly hacking electronics tutorials and other cool device extending capability things. If we have it, we want to use it and then get more out of it. Yeah. So, um, iPhones. Everybody's got an iPhone, right? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Unless you live in Wyoming. <laughs> Everybody we know. You need to unlock it or... Um, at least uh, jailbreak um, yeah, it. Yeah, even just <laughs> jailbreak it to get some of those cool little features. That... So that's what we're covering today. The latest jailbreak from Juha. Yes. And it's a jailbreak for 4.1. But to get to 4.1, you have to update. And but... normally you update, you update the baseband, which means it would be unlockable. Or un unlockable? Or unable to unlock. <laughs> <laughs> if you update it to 4.1, <laughs> it updates the baseband, which prevents unlocking in the future. Right, right. The current, the current um, snow, ultra snow does yes. not unlock the latest baseband. So, how do we update to 4.1 uh, while maintaining the baseband version or without main updating the baseband? You get one of those little cocktail umbrella things, a little tiny umbrella, and you put it in your lime rain drink and use the program, tiny umbrella. <laughs> tiny umbrella. <laughs> That was a utility before, uh, recommended by Muscle Nerd and some other members of the dev team, I believe, for saving the SHSH blobs for your iPhone. Uh, but now in this latest release, when was it released? Fairly recently. Uh, it enables you to upgrade your phone to 4.1. Without updating the baseband. Yes, and so it does it in a really interesting way, too. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, that's what the segment's on today. Updating to 4.1 using Tiny Umbrella and jailbreaking with Lime Rain. So, the thing that you need to do is back up your iPhone and iTunes, and if you're in Cydia, back up your uh, installed programs through apt backup, or if you're still in Rock, back it up to Rock. Then go ahead and run Tiny Umbrella. Make sure you're in Administrator. Yes, yes. And it should auto detect it once, I mean, after you've plugged it in. Go ahead and save the SH, SH blobs. Future jailbreaks. Yep. And then after it's saved those, go ahead and start the TSS server. And if you get an error there, you need to back out and just stop and try to fix that first. Yeah, right. you'll need to um, <laughs> restart the, the a tiny umbrella. Yeah, it's essential. Yes, this it is must running. be running. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to update your baseband on accident. TSS server is running, so now we can go ahead and do a custom restore in iTunes. Shift click on restore, browse the IPSW. So for 4.1, uh, currently on iPhone 4 only. Yes. And then it'll start restoring. And after it's done restoring, you should get an error in iTunes. And this error is indicating that the baseband wasn't updated. But hey, that's what we want. So we are good. But 1004. One, yeah, 1004. Zero, zero, uh, the phone's still in recovery mode, so we need to kick it out. And, and if, it, if it doesn't kick it out right away, close Tiny Umbrella and open it back, back up, up again. again. Yep. That's what we had to do. And it was actually able, the second time around, to Just, as soon as we clicked kick it, it out. Boom. Immediately it, it, it <laughs> and kicked it's, it out. And it's restarted. It has now been updated to 4.1, and the baseband remained at 1.59. And, of course, it has to be set up all over again. Yeah, you got to activate it. Lime Rain actually does activation, but we didn't need to do it because no, we're because we're st we haven't we we officially switched to AT and T. Yeah. <laughs> so if you need to activate it, Lime Rain will do that for you, and we'll just go ahead and run Lime Rain now. So you download it from LimeRain.com, download the XE, and we have to enter into DFU mode, which is holding down the home and the power for ten seconds, yep. I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go to the power. Go to the power. And hold down home until Lime Rain reports your iPhone is in DFU mode. Ah. And then after that, it's been rained on <laughs> with limes. That's like slime to me. Ooh. Slime Rain. So, yeah, uh, it doesn't install Cydia by default. It installs a Lime Rain app, which allows you to download Cydia. And after that, you can go ahead and reinstall your app to backup program and re-download your Cydia packages or reinstall the Rock app and back up from your Rock. All right, so that was pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not the one-click method that it used to be. You still have to go to the DFU mode, but... 
No, and it's it, it's an interesting way to see how Tiny Umbrella implemented the the firmware update process. Basically, just kind of uh, <laughs> putting up a roadblock software-wise that update process. And, hey, no, no, that's enough. Stop here. And then iTunes freaking out. Oh my God, it didn't finish. And then your phone looks like it's semi brickished. Yeah, and then Tiny Umbrella resurrects it from the dead. Wow, so that's pretty cool stuff. I like my analogies better. Yeah, I think yours are better. Too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, if you like this show, we're a weekly show. We do live recordings of what we end up releasing on Mondays on Wednesdays. So tune into the Two Smart Guy show on Wednesday. At twosmartguys.com slash live. At 1030 Mountain, Mountain time. Standard Time. Yes, we live in the Rocky Mountains-ish area. <laughs> and if you want to help us out, um, subscribe to the feed, and you'll get our shows every week automatically. Oh, back your stuff up. Back it up to the cloud. Yes, in case you bone something. Just use, our, use our code, too smart, and you'll save. Oh, so yes. give, it, give it a shot. Helps you save your stuff, and it helps us keep them going with our show. Okay, just use the code right here. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.